we're sitting in the back and almost like a little bit more minimal. But it will still kind of have that same kind of elegance to it. I mean, like, and I think that's the word elegance. This is just a fine wine as, you know, could stack up to any, any border blend, any chateau in France. But what is going to be interesting today, tasting the different vintages, is going to see how they're, how they're different, how they compare their similarities and their differences. And what's, what's great about California winemaking is that we don't have a bad vintage because we, we have the, the opportunity and the technique to really um, play around with wines until we get them just right for that given year. So it's going to be fun to try the VRX from 2001 and the VRX from 2002, see how they're different because no two years are alike. And uh, PJ is fond of saying if, if it tasted the same all the time, well, then it would be called Coca Cola. So what are you thinking? This ain't no Coca Cola. Um, the deep root just stands up on it uh, right out of the this early in the morning yet. So it comes right out of the afternoon. Out of the afternoon. <laughs> uh, the afternoon uh, so you get that blackberry, you get that cream. Allspice, bay leaf, you know, popping out right out of the way of the nose. I'm moving right on to the, the O2 just because I need to just go bam, bam, just to, just to have it hit my tongue as soon as that one left. This one has a voluptuousness. You get a little bit more uh, minerality kind of in the back. Mm. I'm liking this there too better right now. Here, let me, let me fill you up. All right, so the O2 DRX. Um, here we're going to have 57% uh, cab compared to 45% uh, cab. And now the units will be uh, following orders from low, now back, cab from, and to the petit verdot. So, you know, when we're doing, working on the blends and everything, it's, you know, as Robert is annoying saying, you know, it's part chemistry, part cooking. So but when you get to the DRX, you know this thing is going to be good. It's delicious. It's luscious. So it's creating this ultimate sauce that um, you enjoy from not just the bouquet, but from the taste from the start to the everlasting finish. Yeah, and, and how does how does a great chef make a sauce when he's working in the kitchen? By tasting, you know? And just always dipping the spoon in, in the saucepan and just tasting, tasting until it's bellissimo. Yeah, and that's 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 how we go about making our blends. Um, you know, taking meticulous notes and making sure that we're keeping track of everything. And I'll tell you, it is astounding how that you know four percent, two percent to two percent makes the biggest difference in the world. And when you're kind of working on it, so what we do is we'll have about a dozen glasses, and we'll have it with fifty-seven percent, fifty-six percent, fifty-five percent, and a little bit more of this, a little bit that, and that. And you're just kind of continues to play. So out of like the 12 glasses, you want to pick the best two. And then from there, you break those two down to another um, 12. So these guys that were at maybe a 12% for the next level of whatever that juice is, is now going to be broken down to 11. And even before you start even figuring out what you're going to be doing with all the juice and combining it, you're talking about it. What kind of feeling do you want in the mouth? Do you want it soft? Do you want it the high Do you want it fruit forward? Do you want it spicy in the back? There's all these different kind of elements to it. And as you're kind of playing around, boom, it kind of comes to you. And luckily nowadays we actually have a computer. So before um, we didn't have that kind of knowledge. It's, it's been fascinating. It's, you know, since I've been here almost four years now to realize that at one point we were just always here, just kind of writing stuff down on a piece of paper. And you know, sometimes we just be drinking and talking about it and forget to take notes. So um, it is a very enjoyable job. I mean, I feel bad for all of the wineries that focus so much on only making wines from one variety. It seems to be like you're missing the fun part. <laughs>